Hi, this is Dr. Graves with a quick video tutorial on downloading crime data from the City of LA's data portal. First, uh, in a Google, Google window, put LA City Data Portal. And uh, that should bring you to the Los Angeles Open Data website. Looks something like this. Click on Data Catalog. Click on Safe City. Note here, the uh, LA City data comes open. What we're looking for is LA Crime and Collision Raw Data. Click. This is a very large data set, so we're going to filter it. If you scroll across, you'll see loads of information. Click on the Filter button. Add a new filter condition. And what we want to do is to filter this column by the crime code. The crime code we want is 1 10. So enter 110. Click there. And then that brings only the criminal homicides for the past year. And we can scroll down, and it's still a large number, but it's only 263 rather than some 50,000. You can export the entire data set if you want and then um, filter it in Excel, but I wanted to show you how to do this. The next step is to export the data. Click Export. Click on CSV for Excel. You can click either Open With or Save File. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and click Open With Microsoft Excel. Excel launches automatically, and we have now an Excel file of the crimes uh, for last year in Los Angeles. I'm going to click between letters A and B and expand the date reported column, and also expand this DR number, which is the incident number. I'm expanding the date occurred, which also gives me um, a date stamp for these. I can uh, double click between F and G, which then expands that column. Same thing for the criminal code description. All criminal homicides, violent crimes, Schedule 1 crimes, and some of them have arrest, and many of them are considered investigation continuing. Here is the location. Sometimes you get a cross street when it's at an intersection of two. And uh, thankfully, this last column, location one, uh, provides a latitude and longitude coordinates for this data set. Everything's ready to map with the exception of this column. So what we need to do is to break this column into two columns and here's how to do it. The first thing we should probably do is to sort the data A to Z. So click on sort and filter, sort A to Z, and then that brings these six crimes up that have no latitude and longitude coordinates. Those will have to be considered uh, separately, and so we may uh, give them a fill color to remind us that there's a problem with this data. Uh, the latitude of zero and longitude of zero is in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Africa. The next thing we want to do is to highlight this column of data. I did control shift and the down arrow, and then do a find and replace function which is Control-H. I want to find 
in the highlighted data all the left parentheses and I want to replace them with nothing. So that's a blank column. I'll click replace all. 263 are replaced. I want to repeat this with the close parentheses. Replace all. 263 replacements. That's good. I can close and then return to the top of the column. Rename the column header for column in latitude and name column O longitude. It's important that you spell these correctly. Next, highlight the column of data in the latitude column. Control, shift, and down arrow. Click on Data, select Text to Columns, select Delimited, click Next, uncheck Tab, click Comma, click Next. Make sure that this column format is set to General, and click finish. What you will notice is now that we have a latitude and longitude coordinates. We are, have poor coordinates for these um, values here and we're going to have to um, find a different way of mapping these values. For right now I'm going to skip that and there will be another video tutorial for mapping this data. For the moment, I'm going to click Home and sort these Z to A. And so those are invisible to us. They're down at the bottom, but they're still there. And now I am ready to save this data and open it up in ArcGIS. Note that I have saved it in the appropriate file as an Excel workbook and given it a name that I can remember. Click Save. It seems, uh, at least in 2016 with uh, ArcMap 10.4, the best thing to do is to click File and save a copy of this. Uh, you can save it to your current folder, uh, but save it as a CSV common delimited file and uh, maybe change the extension to LA City Homicide CSV. Click Save. There'll be a little nag screen. Do you want to keep using that format? Yes. And then uh, close the file. Don't need to save it twice. Once you've opened ArcMap, add data. And it's good to have a background layer to begin with. I suggest going to the T drive here on campus or uh, wherever you keep your uh, background data. I'm going to click on USA and Census and look for a file that I like for backgrounds called uh, zip. So we're going over here, zip poly, zip poly. I'm adding that. Instantly zoom in on uh, Los Angeles County, and now I have a background layer. I'm going to click Add Data once again, go back to um, my previous folder where I saved my data in my 497 file, and then there's LA City Homicides 2015 CSV file. Click Add. It comes up in the table of contents. I can click open to see what happened and how it came in and look for latitude and longitude coordinates. Notice that some of the date uh, file did not import correctly and so we would need to um, make certain that we adjust that if you want to use that data. I'm going to close the table right-click to open 
the drop down menu for LA City Homicides file, click on Display XY data. It notes that it is uh, X is longitude and Y is latitude, and the coordinate system that is being used is recognized as uh, WGS 1984, and that is correct. Um, if it doesn't recognize that, click on Edit and always look for the geographic coordinate systems, not the projected coordinates, not that. And then among the, the coordinate systems, look for the world system and WGS 1984, and that is the one that works best for any of these more modern um, applications where they almost always tend to use this. That's what Google uses now. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel on this and click OK. There's a little nag field. It will add a new column to the data, and there we have data points. You can zoom in. That's the pattern of homicides in 2015. The last step that you need to do is to export this as a shape file or something that will work in your geo database. Right click, data, export, and you can export it to wherever you would like. Here it's showing up in the geo database and that's an efficient way to do it. And I'm going to just call this um, well, let's, let's not put it in the C drive under the default geo database. You may want to put it somewhere else in or your Z drive in one of those geo databases if you're working on campus. So Z drive geo database. And I can just put this as LA HOM 2015 and click Save. OK, and it will export a new layer over the top. These event files are sort of ghost files, and they are not permanent, and so uh, you don't want to keep them there. You can uncheck them, and they disappear, or completely remove them. And now you have a homicides layer and a zip, ground, zip code layer. That ends this video tutorial for downloading and mapping crime data for the City of Los Angeles.